Hey guys, I'm back out here at Black Point. This is an area where I first started doing my seagrass videos. Putting the cameras under water, showing you what was going on, because it's really exciting. That was many years ago. And since then, things just deteriorated to the point where I really felt there was no need to put the cameras down, there was nothing to show. But now, this is the May, this is right before uh, uh, Memorial Day weekend and a beautiful day water super clear there is some grass growing i'm hearing more and more reports of grass so what is going on at black point and also what's going up around sebastian so i'm going to be putting the cameras down i'm on a pathfinder instead of a paddle board so it allows me to kind of cover more water right now i can look down here it looks nothing like i saw before but it looks like I do see some grass growing. I'm not sure until I get down there. A lot of what you guys see in the water when you see those dark spots is actually algae. So I'm actually getting in the water this time instead of just putting the cameras underneath so I get a better idea of what's going on. So, Well, at Black Point, the water's clear. It's really good. It's about two foot of water. I'm seeing a lot of shoal grass, a lot of it. And there's another, either it's a grass or an algae that's coming up next to it. Hopefully it's another type of grass. Uh, shoal grass is usually a precursor. It's the first one to come in. It grows shallow. And um, I have to wait and see. I'm gonna run the video by a uh, biologist, see if he can identify the other type of uh, grass or algae that's growing here. But uh, Water looks better and has been in a long time. Like I say, it's the end of May. This is really when this, the uh, grass growing season really starts growing. So from now through August, you should see a lot of changes here. The only thing that could really mess it up, you know, is a hurricane comes through and, um, you know, that could screw things up. But hopefully we'll have a good year and the grass will come back. All right, guys, I'm over here at the uh, just south of the inlet, and uh, that's Sebastian Inlet. We're going to go in here. We're going to check this spot out. There's some dark spots out here. Something's growing down there, algae or seagrass. We're going to get in there and find out. Well, after being in the water here at the south of the inlet, uh, there is grass growing. I'm not quite sure exactly what it is, so I don't want to quote. There is some shoal grass. But mostly it's this other one, it's only half inch to an inch. So it's got a lot of growing to do before it fills in, but hopefully uh, it will. It might have been grazed over by manatees, which is, uh, that's what manatees do. But not only manatees, but uh, sea turtles, and there's a lot of fish that eat the seagrass too. So, but there's a lot of it out there. So with luck, this area will be a lot better and give it a month. Just north of the inlet at the state park, and there's a uh, seagrass uh, project going on over here. I'm not sure who's doing the seagrass project and how long ago it was started. Doesn't look like much is going on. I really don't see anything, so I don't know what organization or what company has is, is sponsored this project. But uh, sometimes they don't make it. This one doesn't look too uh, doesn't look too promising. But uh, the only way you fail is if you don't try. Hopefully, if they did plant seagrass and the seagrass did not take here, research it, find out why. That's very important, is find out why it didn't take and then try to uh, improve things so we can grow seagrass. So uh, I am gonna be covering a lot of these different uh, companies and organizations that, that are trying different seagrass projects. See which ones are working, which ones aren't working, and um, it's going to be interesting. So it's not just going to be Sebastian. It's going to be all the way up and down the end of the River Lagoon. So, you know, stay tuned. I'm going to try at least once a month. I'll be out here checking the waters, seeing what's going on, see how the seagrass is growing. It should go from now to August. It should be growing season. It should be going great. But uh, after that, between the hurricanes and then winter season, seagrass is just like a tree, man. They, they have a, a winter season, they have a summer season. Summer season they grow, winter season it dies back, you know, just like a lot of plants do. So stay tuned.